This is our, I think, best motion control system. It's a touch screen. Uh, you can see you can touch and, and change to menus, anything you want. But how this works is this is hooked to sets of hydraulic valves that will fit any pilot system from excavators, skid steers, dozers, cranes, uh, you name it. <clears throat> we can also do uh, main systems if we need to, uh, uh, like a Dan Foss valve or something like that. But mainly we're set up so that you can put this on your your forklift with the, uh, the telescopic boom, your crane, anything like that. And you can use this for motion control to help you run certain aspects. And the first thing we've built this for actually is the iDigBest bucket motion control. And uh, it works pretty simple and I'm just gonna show you the first screen how it works and, and what else we can do with this. Top corner here is, says 12, that is our, our speed, our hydraulic speed or how fast we, uh, like a main volume knob on your stereo. And it's real simple, you just hit it, puts a thing by it, you can change it up and down, whatever you wanna do. Uh, the different speeds, small arrows are for smaller. Then you just hold it down again, that's set. Float on and off. Um, it's a system that controls the main boom. It's a ballast type system. Uh, it turns it on to free it up when we're uh, controlling the motion of the bucket. Uh, this is bucket number one. There's number two. You can go on as many buckets as you want um, so that you have up to five or six different buckets. Up five different buckets and uh, then this is tilt so that's the twist left and right to whatever you're whatever you're working on there so um, if we start the machine you'll see that I can move the bucket right now with this with the motion and I have it set up so that right now it's in horizontal mode so if I hit this I've got six memories for the angles of the bucket that I can carry um, or I can step through those with double clicking the pedal of the button as we can control so you can flip to different uh, profiles by just double clicking. <clears throat> the menu, take you in and kind of show you the background of this. This is set up for many machines. I'm going to do machine type first. So backhoe excavator, uh, bucket loader, dozer grader, fork truck, uh, leveling. Any kind of leveling up to uh, three sets of valves. Uh, we, can, we can do this very comfortably. Um, it's got a huge CPU and we can remember anything, any kind of machine there is. So if we we're gonna to go to fork truck, we might wanna make the fork truck, uh, <clears throat> a fork truck with a telescopic boom. If they want it to go straight in or straight out or straight up or straight down, you can't do that because the boom is on a, on a uh, lever that stretches out. So you gotta go down, out, down, out, down, out to get a in motion. Same to go back out, same to go up or down. This can control one of the valves and it can read what's going on while you control the other one. So if you give it a little bit of power uh, down, it'll stretch out at the same time to make the uh, machine go into a situation or out. <clears throat> same thing for cranes. If you want to hold the ball in one spot, we could control the uh, boom when you're going down, the ball would stay the same level. So you would never have to worry about something coming down and hitting something. Or when you telescopically pull it in, the ball could stay the same. Or you could do both. You could have it telescopic in and go down at the same time and hold the ball in the same spot. Uh, for drilling rigs, anything like that, we can, we can hook up leveling to hold the boom straight up and down. The uh, uh, dozer, road graders, any kind of thing, any farm implements, you want to hold level, uh, tilt, uh, have it do things, that's what that's for. Bucket loaders, we've patented ways to uh, make skid steer stuff aim, aim just like the excavators do at certain grades. So you can always have a flat bucket wherever you're at level with the earth or 1% grade. So when you're cutting away from a building, you're always cutting downhill, uh, etc. So back to the backhoes and excavators on this. <clears throat> we have a start screen so you can set up your screen, what kind of units you want, you know, uh, last what you last did in memory float on or off when you turn it on um, it's it's a, a calibration for like flat bucket you want to set the angle of the bucket the angle of the tilt you just put your this is bucket number one you can switch on through them put your tilt in whatever you need uh, same goes with the uh, uh, 
this bucket it'll turn as you dig um, you can control the speeds right now like I said you can control everything so uh, it's a very simple system to plug in uh, plugs in like I said to any machines anything you're working with and it can work simultaneously with other systems like a dig system now this dig system has this already built into it because it's the I dig best system um, the I dig best system is uh, made simply it does full machine control and makes your excavator dig for you but if you had a Topcon system or a Leica system, Tremble, Carlson, Easy Dig Pro, or a laborer in the ground, you can use this system to make it like our system. So now you can have your 3D system and you can tell it that you want to dig flat on the bottom with a barge or uh, digging sides of a bank off a bridge and a swale and back up or digging a certain angle when you dig in your sewer main at 0.38% or to lay pipe to lay tile and this will keep that running for you in that method so as you can see uh, our motion control system here can work with any kind of implements any kind of cranes any kind of thing you got and can steer the hydraulics for you uh, very cool system thank you